Hey guys, uh, my name is Danny Liu. Uh, I come from Shenzhen, China, and uh, I'm a senior at Foxcroft Academy. My name is Vicky Shen. I'm a sophomore this year, and I come from Shenzhen, China. Hi, my name is uh, Hyuk Wu Choi from South Korea, and I'm junior from. Hey, China. my name is Jung Hun Lee. People call me Jay Lee, and I'm I'm a sophomore at Foxcroft Academy. I'm from Chuncheon, South Korea, not North. Just let you know that. My name is Jan Mahaj. I'm from a small village called Botetitsa and I'm from Czech Republic. Um, I'm senior this year at Foxcroft Academy. I am Amatullah Suleiman Ahmed. I'm from Kumasi, Ghana. And I'm a sophomore at Foxcroft Academy. Hi, my name is Hantin Chu. And my English name is Jeffrey, and people call me Jeffro. I don't know why. And I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. My name is Shinsuke. I'm from Japan. Hello, my name is Ling La. I'm from Haiphong City of Vietnam, and I'm a senior of F8 right now. It's nice to meet you guys. Okay. Uh, one of the advantage I think studying abroad is. Uh, Enables us to um, like to strengthen our English skills by uh, talking to a great diversity of people from all over the world, and um, we have more uh, freedom here and more uh, academic op options available here, as well as with uh, very high quality courses. Um, we we are able to fully develop our personalities here because we are uh, the teachers and the schools are more cons focuses on your individuals and to help help you to develop your personalities i think there is more communication between students and teachers here and we can get more opportunities to learn um, the way that individual studies and our personalities so we can actually um, study based on our own personalities, which um, enable us to have a greater sense of how we learn and how we can perform better academically. And the good thing about studying in foreign countries is that we can learn a lot of cultures from different people coming to our schools. And <coughs> the study, the way of studying is really different from my old, um, my home, my country home country studying is everything for our high school life and middle school life we always have to study there's no activities there's no sports but in America it's like more free and then you still have to study but there's more activities to there's more activities you can do it keeps you in it keeps you fitted in your physical stuff and it just makes you better as a person. Obviously, if you study in other countries, you learn their cultures and stuff. And one thing I learned is that uh, I think I learned American virtues. If you look at America, you think just like a bunch of white people with some people with color, bunch of really cocky people. That's what well, that was my thinking before I came to U.S. But once I came here, I learned that uh, Americans are actually very diverse, and uh, I like their work ethic. I joined football team last year, and by joining football team, I learned like how most people in the U.S. like work hard. Like when they're in practice, they work as hard as they can in the game. They run like their heart out all the times and every single play. I learned a lot of things about uh, different Asian countries from my classmates. I also uh, learned a lot about American history and I started to learn Chinese. I'm learning chemistry and forestry and ESL and some introduction to piano and violin. I think the United States system of education emphasizes on the practical aspect of science, um, particularly. 
which means in my country where I come from, um, there is we have four facilities, four lab facilities. Like um, we learn. Um, students normally ought to rely on their imagination to understand theories. Before I come here, I don't really do any stuff. Like my parents help me to do it. After I come to here, I need to learn how to do it, everything by myself. So I think I grow up a lot. And, uh, and I came here to not studying, actually. I came here to learn to make more friends and join how to join with another uh, people, like in America. That's why I came here. So I want to study. Uh, business, so I learned a lot from many subjects from FA, and I really like America. My favorite part, um, it's about when we do our labs, where everyone can communicate and share our knowledge together. I like to s play soccer here. It's my favorite sports, and I'm varsity starting at this school. My favorite thing about FA is playing football. Definitely football. Every Friday, I walk down the hallway with my game day jersey on, the number 50 Lee. Once school's done, I go down to locker with my fellow teammates, getting ready for the game. Take my jersey off, put it on my shorter bed, put it on, strap it off. After warm ups, we go back into locker and we start to get in two lines and walk down to our home field, Oxfield. And coach is yelling at my face Are you up for the challenge, Jay Lee? Are you ready? Are you ready to go full speed every single play? And I'm like, Yes, coach, I'm ready to do this. I got this. Then I walk down and I see the Friday lights on on our ox field. Crowds is staring at me. And they start to call our starting players out. My, my favorite center, Brent Thomas, goes out first. Then Ethan Preble. Then it's my turn. I walk through. Then Mr. Shvali is yelling my name up from the, what was the place again? <laughs> <We're good. laughs> yeah, up from the announce booth. And my heart is beating so hard. Like it's so hard. 100 miles an hour. And nothing is better than that feeling. Playing on Oxfield every Friday night with bunch of crowd looking at me. The best thing ever. You have more ways to get involved in your school and your community. Basketball, I guess. Um, I improved my skill uh, a lot. Well, I like to play baseball in America. It's really fun. I think I got one grand slam. And I got one big one. Like, it was pretty far. And I got normal one. So, like, three in the game for practice. Like, two, three times, I think. I don't know. But I got a couple home runs last year. And this year, the baseball season is coming soon. So I wish I can hit more home run more than last year. And I wish I can play better. And I wish I can go to the championship this year. And studying with a lot of friends in uh, different countries all over the world. I'm very, I'm very fine here and I w I'm currently I'm very busy with preparing uh, the college applications and I'm really uh, grateful for for my parents to, s to send me study in the United States and I'll try my best to um, to uh, get involved in into a very uh, good competitive universities to recompense your effort. To my friends and family back home, I wanted to tell them that I'm doing really good and I'm really happy about being here. Happy about you sending me here and I'll do my best to satisfy you and your effort to put me here. Thanks to my parents for supporting me to come here and supplying me all the stuff that I need here. 
and yeah I miss you guys and I hope you guys are doing well and see you next summer help no uh <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm doing fine here. Uh, it's not true that all Americans are fat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking, f I look forward to, uh, to seeing you this Christmas, uh, at my Christmas break. To my friends, I really miss you and to my lovely nephew. I miss you very much and I love you and I miss your kisses on my cheeks. Bye. I want to say something to my parents. I thank them for supporting me to appear and supply me the thing what I need. I'm doing good. I miss you guys and see ya. Thank you for everything and I'm doing great. I got friends. I just uh, want to say thank you for my parents because they uh, helped me a lot to be in America now and I just promise that I will be back in Vietnam soon to support my country. Thank you. No, I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid just as long as you stand. Stand by. Oh, send them your heart.